We're here with Brittany File, goalkeeper for the Nebraska Corn Huskers. Uh, Brittany, you're a senior this year. How has your senior year been going so far? Man, I'm having so much fun. I mean, the team chemistry is great. I'm, I love all the girls on the team. We're just having a lot of fun this year. Now, last year, you, last week, you picked up your first career start against St. Louis and your first career win against UAB. How does it feel to make those two accomplishments? Well. I guess it's not really as important for me to get the start. It was more important that I mean that my team got the win. Of course, being the coming the starting goalkeeper has always been like my biggest goal. So I'm really proud of myself for that. But I'm more, more most importantly, I'm excited for my team to finally get our first win. Sophomore goalkeeper Jessica Mills and you have a unique relationship. Explain how you two have helped make each other better players. I have so much respect for Jessie. Being as young as she is, she is a tremendous goalkeeper. Um, we both have our strengths, we both have our weaknesses, but I think ultimately we're, pr we're pretty even. So coming out each day, it's, it's just a battle, and so we definitely push each other, we help each other out, and it's great because off the field, you know, we can be friends, and on the field, we definitely can push each other and fight for the starting spot. Assistant coach Wally Crittenden is also a goalkeeping coach. Uh, he's brought a in his second year here, he's brought a lot of enthusiasm to the program. Uh, explain how he personally has helped you get better as a player. Wally is so much fun. I mean, I honestly um, give all my credit for him for making me the goalkeeper I am today. He came um, the spring of my sophomore season and I, um, he pretty much changed up my whole technique and everything and he's, he brings a lot of really great insight, a lot of, a lot of enthusiasm and it's, he makes coming to practice easy. He's taught me a, a lot of new things and like I said before, I give him all the credit for making me who I am today. Now, like I mentioned before, you guys got your first win of the season last Sunday, and now you have your next seven games at home here at the Nebraska soccer field. What is the team going to have to do to capitalize on that momentum and pick up a couple wins in a row here? Well, most importantly, having seven games at home, it's important to just take one game at a time. Um, we can't think, oh, we have seven games at home. It's it's just one game at a time. We just got to we gotta focus on... Getting, a ha become, getting in a habit of winning. Um, we have to keep building on each game and just being more consistent, um, playing more consistent, aggressive, passionate soccer. I mentioned uh, next seven games at home here. We've had uh, great fan support here in the past. This season we've averaged over 500 fans for every home game. What, can, what How has the fan support helped you on the field? Man, I mean, we're seeing more and more fans each game, and it, it's just great because... I mean, we're seeing that people still love Nebraska soccer and they still want to come out and see us play, so it's really, really encouraging and it's great to have that atmosphere. Hey, not mine. We have to zero. Who's that ball? 